again, Mel Gibson says this movie is about compassion, about love. Well, slaughterhouses and uh, factory farms aren't compassionate and aren't loving. So we're telling people, especially people of faith, to reject all violence and to respect all of God's creatures, which include uh, cows, pigs, and chickens. Not just God. That we demand, we demand an education for our people that speaks to the decadence of this evil American society. We want our history to be told. We got a passion in the black community and our passion is to see the end of police brutality. You got places in Africa where it, look at look at this. Look at this. The Vatican proclaimed that the Jews were not responsible for the murder of Jesus. Gibson is setting the clock back. It's not about acting. It's about Mel Gibson at his anti-Semitic words. This lie inspired the murder of my people in the millions over the centuries, and this lie inspired, inspired the Holocaust itself. And I world, what the teachings of the church are. So now that we've seen it, the bad news, the bad news is the film continues to be shown in its unambiguous manner, blaming the Jews. Blaming the Jews, the Jews being bloodthirsty, angry, vengeful, and the Romans being understanding, the Romans being forced into it as if the Jews controlled Judea and Samaria, as if the Jews ruled over the Romans. Are we going? Are you guys leaving? I didn't necessarily find it anti-Semitic. I'm Jewish. Um, I did find it more anti-Roman than anti-Jewish, for sure. Um, the thing that was a problem with it for me was just they spent so much time showing him being beaten, and all of this has so much blood, so much gore. Um, I used to be uh, very religious also, and then kind of became cynical about the whole thing. But it's great to see this perspective and say that, you know, he was a human and he suffered for a lot of people. He had a lot of passion.